Hey sunshines. I have not filmed a sit down video in, like to you guys it looks like I'm filming a lot, but I pre-film a lot of things, so I haven't filmed a sit down video in quite some time. Cause I've been in a little bit of a funky headspace and I haven't really been like feeling myself. And I explained that a little bit more in my last video that I posted. So I'll link that up here and down in the description somewhere unless you just want to click around on my channel. With that, I have been focusing so much on trying to fix my brain and letting in positive things because I feel like I've just been dwelling on shit and that's just disgusting so I want to share with you what I've manifested this week so if you're interested in manifestation methods and techniques and witchery and witchcraft I will link my playlist called witchery up here in the card somewhere if you want to watch through all of those where I actually go deep diving into explaining what the methods I use are but until then let's read through some of the things that I've manifested this week I'm gonna open up my trusty dusty gold book and the first thing I manifested this week was money. I am not obsessed with money. I actually like would rather anything else in the world than money. Don't care for it. I know you like need it to live. I've kind of put in the realization that like I also deserve things for my craft and I deserve to be paid out for my brain. Like my brain, I, I have to stop giving, 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 and I need to start receiving, receiving, receiving. We started with money just because it's tangible and it, I could track it a little bit, right? So I used the 369 method. I did not use the 369 method in where I did three in the morning, six in the afternoon, and nine at night. I actually did it all in one sitting just because I felt like my energy was so strong at one point. Three, six, nine money. I started off with money, 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 because that is the thing that I desire, that I have, that I would like, but I already have. Now my six, I usually write it out as I am so grateful for, I am so thankful for. To give praise and to give thanks in my six is to tell the universe that I am giving them an advance on receiving it. But I decided to take a different approach because I've noticed that that's a little bit tricky for me to do. So instead of I am grateful for, I cut out grateful, I cut out thankful, I just stuck to I am. So my six was I am a money magnet, 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 I am a money magnet. So I took that approach instead. Usually for my nine, I say I have received, I've earned, I've gotten, I've taken, all different synonyms of receiving. It has come to me. It is already in my presence. So I kind of stuck with that, just made it a little shorter, more to the point. I have received more money. I have received more money. I have received more money. And I repeated that nine times. So I felt very good about that. And I felt very like, you got it, dude. Although it was probably a little bit coincidental, but you just have to believe to believe. I did receive money from an ad that I did. I also received an opportunity for more money. I had gotten another lump of something in my bank account that I think that I was waiting on but forgot about, but it all kind of happened at once within the next two days of me doing this, which was really lovely and made me very, very happy. Also though, <laughs> plot twist, really random. My card information like got stolen and someone tried to buy something at McDonald's and I don't eat at McDonald's like at all. Like I don't even think I've ever stepped foot in a McDonald's and like swiped my card. So my bank called me and was like, hey, is this you at McDonald's? I'm like no so they froze my account and I had to go to the bank and like get a new card and a whole thing but I thought it was funny <laughs> that it all happened within the same instance of being a money magnet like it made me like go physically to the bank and be like hello so I was continuing forth with a 369 method because I felt like in that instance everything was very very simple to do and I was in the mindset of what my three was going to be what my six was going to be and what my nine was going to be because sometimes it does get at least in my head a little bit tricky because I always felt like six and nine were interchangeable and I was repeating myself in a different way which is technically what you do but I couldn't really get it to be where I wanted it to be. My next 369 method was for travel. Three was travel, travel, travel. My six was I am a travel vlogger. And I repeated that six times because I thought that was 
just really awesome and that's that's just something that i'm so like <laughs> like i want that you know and now that things are opening up again i feel like it's a possibility um especially because i did go to philadelphia two months ago and that was on a collaboration based creative content exchange and i vlogged it if you guys missed that like all of the philly vlogs were completely like i was there staying at stay local because they asked to do a content exchange. So that kind of sparked in me to like want to do more of that because that's just what I love to do. And my nine was I went on vacation for my job. <laughs> and I repeated that nine times. So instead of saying I've received a free hotel stay, I was trying to be specific into crafting this array of, no, this is my life. This is what I do. So I actually ended up doing the 369 method again for brand deals. I get a good amount of offers for brand deals. And I think that's phenomenal in the sense of like being a micro <laughs> influencer. <laughs> like I'm considered to have like a medium, I guess a small to medium sized audience. I was manifesting paid brand deals because I still do get a lot of offers for non-paid brand deals and sometimes depending on the company i do take them if they're like a smaller business or if they're an artist that i really like and they could only really provide merch or they could only provide like x amount of things because they spent all their budget on like someone big which like kind of sucks but like that's just like this world and i would love to maybe make a video about like that specific thing if anyone's even like kind of interested in it so i was really really manifesting just like paid brand deals because i'm kind of at the point where i just i'm not saying like oh i don't want to work for free but like because i'm so grateful to like get so many things just like thrown at me but you know it's still a job so you should be compensated for your creativity love collaborations they're so cool they're so fun well my three was paid brand deals my six was i have a lot of paid brand deals yay i have a lot of them and i need to plug them into videos and i need to like put them on tiktok and i need to maybe like post an insta story with them and use this hashtag and like yay you can tell that this like excites the shit out of me nine was I've completed and got paid for brand deals. I've completed and got paid for brand deals. And I repeated that seven more times. You could say I've received opportunities for paid brand deals, but I didn't want to say it in that way because yes, I can receive a lot of paid opportunities for brand deals, which I currently do. But I want the next level of that. I want them to be set in stone, contract completed, money paid to you not waiting around, not following up with people, not getting ghosted, not no debauchery. I want them to be completed so excitedly, going fantastically, and them to be paid out. This week I did receive a lot of good opportunity for collaborations, for brand deals. I got some PR packages this week which were so cool, including the PR package for Olivia Rodrigo hello so i got like her purple sour patch kids and i was not expecting this this came out of nowhere obviously this wasn't like a paid thing it was just a pr package but to me it falls in the same category so i feel like i heavily manifested like that and i didn't mean to but like the things that come with it are just so uncanny and you're just like i'm gonna let it happen okay so that's an, the amazing part about manifestation is that if your head is in the right space and you could get yourself there girlfriend you're good Okay, so I'm going to continue. If you're into this part, keep watching. If you're not into this part, click on another video. I'm going to read you. <laughs> this is like embarrassing, I guess. But I'm going to read you my gratitude journal. So this is another form of manifestation. I made an entire video on it. It's a lot more aesthetic than this one, just sitting down and talking to you and drinking my coffee and like having a good time. But I also gratitude journaled this week. And I am hopeful that this gratitude journal is the truth. Short synopsis, gratitude journaling is basically writing a fiction story, but making it nonfiction. So it's about you, it's about your life, it's about something that had already happened to you, you know, you want it to happen to you, and you're writing about like the feeling, the emotion, and as you're writing, you're, you're grasping it, you're pulling it in, and everything is amazing. No, obviously we don't live in a perfect world, but it's an, a lovely thing to know that like, you can write stories to mimic the world that you wish you could live in. Gratitude journaling by me. 
It felt like I went weeks in a drought, small amounts of opportunity, not much chunks of growth, a huge plummet on YouTube as I accidentally spam posted in an effort to trick the algorithm. Then one day came suddenly where the floodgates opened again, pouring opportunity, direction, travel, collaborations with great artists and brands, and room for negotiation and payout. It was thrilling, answering emails on the beach, scheduling content seamlessly, taking photos for brands I adore, and filming for bands I vibe to. I was able to bottleneck my followers from one platform to the next, and they seemed to enjoy the variety across all socials. We bonded over music and fashion, mental health and hobbies, my witchcraft videos were golden, and my photos started spreading on people's stories. They were inspired by me, and I was inspired by them. Their thoughts and conversations helped shape me into a better creator. As I found out more about them, they found a home within me. I always wanted to be that for somebody, and now I've got a whole lot of somebodies to walk into to be greeted by. They say hello when I wake. They wish me sweet dreams before bed. The connections are the best part. The travel is something I thought I would have always had to save up for. The hotels, hostels, Airbnbs, the homes have allowed me to experience places I swear I only saw in my most lovely daydreams. It's incredible the people you meet along the way. Till forever, what a dream. I am truly living my dream. <laughs> okay, that was cute. That kind of made me feel like uncomfy <laughs> to share. So I really hope you guys enjoyed what I manifested in a week. I hope you get a little bit of like something from this and then manifest your own desires, hopes, dreams, hobbies, life, etc. And if you want more manifestation videos, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments because I really, I, I'm unsure about where we stand with these kinds of videos. You can binge my witchery playlist. Again, that's all on my channel. Has all the manifestation stuff in it, all the spell casting, all the everything. So so subscribe before you go and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye.